Scriabin creates ethereal textures by writing rhythms that obscure the beat. In this episode of Scriabin Theory, we'll discuss various rhythmic techniques Scriabin used to create his uniquely dense textures. The first thing to mention is that Scriabin began writing in the Romantic era when it was common to push and pull the tempo back and forth. This is the first contributing factor to what makes his piano music sound so free and not rigidly tied to a steady beat. Another factor is how he sometimes used rhythms that don't accentuate the strong beats. Without attacks on the downbeat, it makes the listener unsure of the pulse, which is just the sort of ambiguous feeling Scriabin goes for. What really separates him from other composers is his frequent mixtures of uncommon divisions of the beat with common rhythmic divisions. One of my favorite examples is the rhythmic motif in The Poem of Ecstasy. The rhythm begins seemingly as straight eighth notes, accenting the upbeats, until filled in by triplets. He develops this motif throughout the work by cutting it into pieces and augmenting it into longer rhythmic units. While this only involves triplets and eighth notes, there are plenty of cases where he isn't afraid to use fivelets or sevenlets juxtaposed to common rhythms. The ultimate rhythmic ambiguity comes from his relatively frequent use of polyrhythms. It wasn't too uncommon for other romantic composers to write three over two polyrhythms, but Scriabin went further using four over three polyrhythms and more. Here's an example from the beginning of Flem's Sombre that uses divisions of three in the right hand and divisions of four in the left hand. Perhaps it seems difficult to impossible to execute some of these polyrhythms and odd divisions like sevenlets accurately, yet the convention of rubato playing for this era allows solo pianists to round off the edges. That being said, pianists are often intimidated by the rhythms he writes because of their difficulty. Another characteristic feature of Scriabin's textures is the frequent use of trills, tremolos, and rolled chords. Some speculate that Scriabin uses trills to represent light, which seems applicable to Sonata 10 and Ver la Flemme. In summary, Scriabin creates dense textures that obscure the beat to create a fluid aesthetic. He uses techniques like ambiguous rhythms, uncommon divisions of the beat, polyrhythms, and trills performed in a free rubato romantic style. He of course deviates from this sometimes with steady rhythms like the dance motif discussed previously, but for the most part, he uses busy overlapping textures to create his unique sound. Unlike some other classical composers, rhythm is definitely an important aspect of music Scriabin utilized to forge his masterpieces. What's your favorite rhythm in Scriabin's music? Let me know in the comments section, like, subscribe, and support me on Patreon.